Well, I'd become increasingly bothered that I was forgetting things, mainly how to do things. Well, I knew there was something wrong before I went. I could feel the stopping and it, it, it was irritating. We were having a conversation and Larry was telling a story. Um, he, he'd get to a word and then he, he would just stop um, and try and drag the word out, what he wants to, to say. And then he'd look at me probably and, and I'd suggest a word that you know, to fill, to fill in. So mild cognitive impairment is a condition where people have an impairment of their cognition, but it doesn't affect their function. Cognition means their thinking. Thinking occurs in different areas. So it might be, for example, that they can't find words, or perhaps they have an impairment of their memory, so they can't remember certain um, objects or items, or it might affect some of the things, some of the skills that they want to do. But it's different from what they were, so there's been an impairment, but it's not so bad that it's a function affecting their day-to-day -day activity. Commonly, it's about forgetting conversations uh, or misplacing things. If you're worried, uh, then the main thing to do is to see your GP um, and to get a diagnosis in the first instance, because although people are afraid of the diagnosis, the sooner you get the diagnosis, the sooner you can get support. Patient or, or their relatives feel that some someone's actually having some memory problems greater than what, what they what they were, or they're having some difficulty. Then speak to your GP. Uh, it may be that they have mild cognitive impairment, and if we can recognise it early, then we can uh, plan their treatment and management early. We know people with mild cognitive impairment. Many of them will go on to develop dementia, but some won't go on to develop dementia. So there is a balance there about helping people understand what the diagnosis is, supporting them with the anxiety and the uncertainty of what the future holds and giving them some tools to deal with that. I would say to other people that if they've got any worries to go to the, to the doctor, their own doctor and um, get help. Just having the initial diagnosis made a huge difference to me. I thought, well, I'm because you almost feel as though you're going mad. And, I, and it just, I, I just almost went, Phew, thank goodness there is something wrong. You know, it's not, it's just not my imagination. Yeah. We, we cope with it all right, but we know now that if we have got any worries, there are people, we've got phone numbers to phone, people to talk to, if we've got any worries whatsoever.